Hey everybody, my name's MDKWLAN, otherwise known as MDK, and today we're not doing the Arch video I said I would do, but doing another video. So while on Reddit, I found a subreddit that was rather interesting. It's called Unix Porn, and you know, of course, it kind of sounds off-putting at first, but trust me, it's fairly interesting, especially, you know, people that like Linux. Um, it's basically how people configure their desktop, you know, so pretty much everybody configures their desktop, especially in Linux, differently, and I don't know how everything's laid out. And as you can see from me, as a good example, um, I'm trying out Unity. Uh, I found a lot of tools and different things to configure Unity a little bit better. As you can see, my Unity bar is not nearly as wide as, like, stock is or anything like that. So, mm, I also have a different, di a bunch of different things too. Uh, this is called drawers. But anyway, um, within this subreddit, a lot of people will use this command called Archie, and um, I've seen a I've seen a fair amount of requests for how do you do Archie or what is Archie or you know what does it do. So when I open up terminal here, this is Archie. Now what you can actually do is you can configure. Archie, well, you can configure anything as long as you add it to your dot bash RC uh, to launch whenever you open up your terminal because your terminal shell is by default bash unless you want to use normal shell, which I don't know why. But this is Archie. This is what Archie looks like. There's another one called Screen Fetch, which is kind of along the same lines, but um, as you can see here, I get conflicting stories. So, let me do that one more time. So, according to screen fetch, uh, you can see that I'm using a dull monitor, which is fairly cool, except it's wrong. But, yeah, it's horribly wrong. My monitor that I'm looking at right now is 1912 by 1080. I don't, I don't know how that works together, but anyway. Um, but you get some conflicting information between the two of them. If I look at the top one here, it's telling me that... Uh, I'm not using uh, no window manager was found no theme was found for the window manager because obviously I didn't find it but if I look at Archie it tells me that I'm using Compiz as mine and GNOME as my desktop environment which well it's Unity but but still it's still telling me the right thing um, uh, I don't know so how you would get it is fairly simple um, I'm going to put stuff in the description. I found, I uh, ended up finding a link in how to do it. Uh, pretty much what you, you want to do, if I can find it, is you, you're going to do a wget, so you have to copy stuff. And I'll put the link to this guy's page in the description. So, wget, that link, and it'll, this is for screen fetch. And I'll download it, and there you go. You got screen fetch. And then do sudo uh, dpkg tack i, and then screen fetch, and it'll install. And then after you do that, just do screen fetch. If you know you can spell it right. Okay, I didn't even know there was a screen dump and screen fetch, and it will run. That's great. Um, it's pretty much how to install. Um, Archie's along the same way. It's literally, it's literally the same way. Uh, if I can copy this link, it's wget paste, you know, download the deb file, sudo dpkg tech i, then archie.deb. So let me make sure I remove those because if I don't do them now, I won't remove them. Okay. So that's how you download them. It's fairly simple. They're just simple little dev files. So what's more interesting, in my opinion, is the ability to, if I leave this shell, to, okay, it'll pop up on my second screen, of course, is to add it to startup, which I know it's not really, a, why would you want to do this? There was a distro I looked at not too long ago that does the same thing, and I, for the life of me, can't remember it. Anyway. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to use Nano. You can use 5M, Emac, I guess, 
or G-Edit, I guess. Um, but sudo nano um, home slash home slash whatever your username is. Mine's MDK dot bash RC. And enter your admin password. You know, all the way down to the bottom and type whatever you want. I use Archie because I think Archie's better. But in theory, what you can do is you can put anything here. So if you're doing a lot of administrative stuff with, like, say, a server, you can edit this to um, auto display the IP address. So if config, and then it'll show you, or if config, I guess, grep, and then whatever device you're using. Yeah, it's fairly interesting, at least. So that's how you get that set up. Um, yeah, pretty much you just download the links with wget, then paste the link in, download it, sudo dpkg, tac i, and then the file name, install, and then it's already there. So now the debate arises, which do you think looks better, Archie or fetch screen? I don't know. Either way. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, go check out the subreddit, uh, Unix Porn. So it's reddit.com slash r slash Unix Porn. Um, I don't know. It's a fairly interesting subreddit, and I love love seeing what people can do, especially with window manager and desktop environments I've never fucking heard of. It's awesome. And, of course, uh, you need any help or looking for help or need a solution to something. Oh, God, Fedora. Um, obviously, reddit.com slash r slash Linux for noobs. Go check us out, and if you guys need any help, that's where we'll all be. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.